We start with a close look at two indices collected and reported in monthly values, the Consumer Price Index and the Producer Price Index. These indices are controlled by both price of commodities and the volume bought and sold in competitive markets. As consumers, we see the blue line on a general inflationary trend since 1980, with some peaks and troughs, although neither drastic nor extended in recovery. In red, we observe the producer price index, the PPI, showing the market for producers of all products made and sold in the USA, where peaks and troughs are more exaggerated as we move through time. The vertical gray lines are periods of recession in the USA. Observe how peak and trough patterns in the PPI mostly match periods of recession. The most extreme recession since the Great Depression happened in 2007-09 with the Great Recession. Observe how the PPI peaked at over 200, then fell to 170 before starting recovery again. We need to look again at what started in 2014. What's up with that? Great Recession recovery was tripped up in July 2011 as a series of starts and restarts were attempted by U.S. businesses until another fall started in April 2014. The business environment struggled to expand as new laws for health care took hold, introduced tax burdens were established, and international competition factors handicapped U.S.-based businesses. The new PPI drop means businesses both sold fewer products in the market and sold them for less. From June 2014 to April 2015, our economy was systemically weakening again. Then in May, we started another climb, lasting only until August 2015, when another out-of-our-control event happened. The Chinese government devalued the yuan. American producers were faced with weakened exchange rates for Chinese products, making Chinese goods more affordable. More expensive American products could not compete so well with Chinese-sourced goods, so buyers diverted their purchases to lower-cost Chinese goods, including American buyers. Observing the reaction of the CPI in respect to recessions in the U.S. economy, Recognizing how all indications point to another recessionary period in our economy, a period I have called the Greater Recession. Only the National Bureau of Economic Research's Business Cycle Dating Committee can officially announce a recession. They never announce one that is currently in progress, waiting until recovery movement is confirmed. They do not want to panic the populace. So, Here we are, sitting without panic to anticipate the inevitable recession's announcement. What do the Chinese have to do with our greater recession? Look at what happened to our PPI when the yuan was devalued. Our index dropped as the strength of the yuan recovered in respect to the U.S. dollar. They won the trade competition battle as they devalued their currency and they strengthened their economy. It seems that was good planning. (laughs) How strong did it make the Chinese economy? We recognize how trading partners experience a gross domestic product convergence. As our GDP growth slowed substantially during and since the Great Recession, the Chinese GDP has been strengthening. This convergence means potency in their economy realized through their ability to be more competitive in all tradable markets. <music>